Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about dividing polynomials using long division. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 2 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we are still dividing polynomials without the remainder. In this part 2 class, we don't have remainder also. So I give for examples for you to really understand how to divide polynomials. Now, in part 3 of our video class, it will be quite tricky since we have the remainder. So, we have two examples, dividing polynomials, long division with the remainder. So, what will be the thing that we will do if we have the remainder? So, I will just put the link class in the description down below with regards to dividing polynomials with the remainder. So, let's focus first without the remainder. So, let's start with number 3. So, once again, class, see the video for part 1 before solving this part all right, so write this one check first class if the polynomials, the degree is arranged. So once again, we have x squared, then x raised to the power of 1. Understood that there's 1 here. And then the constant. So it's already been arranged, so we can divide. So this will be 2x plus 5. Then you copy this one. Okay. So you copy this, 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. Alright, and then you divide plus the leading term divided by this first term. So 6x squared divide 2x. So 6x squared divided by 2x. So divide the number, the numerical coefficient. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. x squared divided by x. So once again, understood that x here has an exponent of 1. So when you divide, simply copy the variable. Copy the base. Then you subtract the exponent, 2 minus 1. So therefore, this is 3x. So 6x squared divided by 2x, that is 3x. Alright, so this will be 3x. Now, since this is 3x plus x with the exponent of 1, your answer for this one, the 3x, you align it with 7x. Because 7x, the exponent is 1. So 3x, you align with 7x. Alright, because they, they have the same exponent which is 1. So always align this one class. Always remember this one. Once you divide, if this is x squared, you align it you align it at x squared. Now since this is just 3x, you align it with 7x. Alright, and then you multiply. So 3x times 2x, that would be 6x squared. So 3x times 2x, so 3x times 2x. So once again, when you multiply, you will add the exponent. So understood that there's one here. So 3 times 2 is 6, x times x is x raised to the power of 1 plus 1, so that would be 6x squared. Alright, so 3x times 2x, that is 6x squared. So once again, class, when you divide, you subtract the exponent of the variables. When you multiply, you add the exponent of the variables. I hope you got that one, class. Alright, and then you multiply this one. So 3x times 2x, that's 6x squared. 3x times 5. So this is 5, 3x times 5, that's positive 15x. Alright, and then we subtract, we put parentheses, since this is binomial, we subtract. Now, once we subtract a polynomial, an integer, you always change of this sign of the subtrahend, then you proceed to addition. Once again, class, once you, once you subtract an integer or polynomials, you change the sign of this subtrahend, then you will proceed to addition. So this is minus, this becomes positive, you change this sign, this is positive 6x squared, it becomes negative, this is positive 15x, it will become negative. Alright, and then you combine. So 6x squared minus 6x squared, this becomes 0, so cancel this out. 6 minus 6 is 0. Then 7x, so 7x, so 15x, instead of positive, it becomes negative, 7x minus 15x. So, if the signs are not the same, this is positive 7, negative 15. Subtract, so 15 minus 7 is 8, then copy the sign of the larger number. So, 7x minus 15, that's negative 8, negative 8x. Now, for the variables class, simply copy the variable, negative 8x. So, 7 minus 15, subtract, 15 minus 7 is 8, copy negative sign, since 15 is greater than 7. So, negative 8, then copy x. So, negative 8x. And then you bring down 
negative 20. Alright. So, divide negative 8x divided by 2x. So, negative 8x divided by 2x. So, negative 8 divided by 2, that's negative 4. Negative divided by positive is negative 4. x divided by x, you can cancel this out plus. So, negative 4. This is negative 4. And then, you multiply plus. Negative 4 times 2x, that's negative 8x. Negative 4 times positive 5. Negative times positive is negative. 4 times 5 is 20. And then, we subtract. You put parentheses because this is binomial. Subtract. Once again, once you subtract an integer, a polynomial, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you will proceed to addition. So, this becomes plus. And this is negative 8x. This becomes positive. This is po negative 20. It becomes positive 20. And then, you combine negative 8x plus 8x. Of course, you can cancel the stuff. You can cancel it out less because that is 0. And negative 20 plus 20, you can cancel this out because that is 0. So cancel this out. You can cancel this out. You can cancel this out and this will be 0. That's it plus. The answer is 3x minus 4. Easy for number 3, right? So 3x minus 4. This will be your answer for number 3. Let's try number 4 class. So, check first if it's arranged. So, we have x cubed, x squared, x, and the number. Yep, it's already been arranged. So, let's divide. So, 3x plus 7 divide 6x cubed plus 20x squared plus 5x minus 21. Alright, and then you divide plus 6x cubed. Once again, the leading term. Divided by the first term, so 6x cubed divided by 3x. So once again, 6 divided by 3 is 2. x cubed divided by x, subtract the exponent, 3 minus 1, that would be x squared. 2x squared. Alright, so this is 2x squared. Now since this, x, this is x squared, you align this one in x squared. Okay, so 2x squared. So once again, the leading term. Divided by the first term, 6 divided by 3 is 2. x cubed divided by x, that is x squared. You subtract the exponent plus 3 minus 1 is 2. 2x two squared. Once you divide, you multiply. So this will be 2x squared times 3x. So 2 times 3 is 6. x squared times x. Once you multiply, you add the exponent. That would be x cubed. Alright, and then 2x squared times 7. 2 times 7 is positive 14. x squared times none, copy x squared. Then we subtract. You put parenthesis, then you put minus sign. Once again, rules in subtracting. Subtracting integers or polynomials, you change the sign of the subtrahend, then you proceed to. You change the sign to subtrahend, then you proceed to addition. So this becomes positive. So, this is our subtrahend. We change this sign. This is positive 6x cubed. It will be negative. Okay. Okay. 6x cubed. It will be negative 6x cubed. This is positive 14. It will be negative 14. Alright. So, 6x cubed minus 6x cubed. You can cancel this out. This is 0. Then, positive 20x minus. So, positive 14. It becomes minus. It becomes negative, so 20x squared minus 14x squared, that is 6x squared. So 20 minus 14, that is 6. Copy x squared. Bring down 5x, positive 5x. And then you divide this one, 6x squared divided by 3x. So 6x squared divided by 3x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x, that is x. So, because this is subtraction, subtract the exponent plus 2 minus 1. This is 2 minus 1, so this will be 2x. Raised to the power of 1 or understood 2x. That's the same plus 2x two, two raised to the power of 1 or 2x is just the same. Understood that there's 1 here. So, once again, 6 divided by 3 is 2. x squared divided by x, that is x. So, 2x. This will be positive 2x. 6x squared divided by 3x, that's positive 2x. Then once you divide, you multiply. 
So 2x times 3x, that's 6x squared. Then 2x times 7, that's positive 14x. Then we subtract, we put parentheses since this is binomial. Okay, then we change the sign of the subtrahend and we proceed to addition. This is minus, this becomes positive. This is positive 6x squared, it becomes negative. This is positive 14, it becomes negative 14. And then we can cancel this out because 6 minus 6, that is 0. So cancel this out. This will be 5 minus 14. So positive 14, it becomes negative. So 5 minus 14. If the signs are not the same, we have positive 5, negative 14. If the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So 14 minus 5, that is 9. Since 14 is greater than 5, we have negative 9. So bring down negative 9, then copy x. Alright, and then you bring down negative 21. And then we divide plus. Negative 9 divided by 3x. So negative 9x, sorry, negative 9x divided by 3x. So negative 9 divided by 3, that's negative 3 x divided by x simply cancel so this is negative 3 minus 3 then you multiply plus negative 3 times 3x that's negative 9x negative 3 times neg negative 3 times positive 7 that's negative 21 negative times positive is negative then we subtract we put parentheses this is binomial then we change the sign of the subtrahend then we proceed to addition so this becomes plus and this is negative it becomes positive this is negative it becomes positive then 9 x plus 9 x that is 0 so you can cancel this out negative 21 plus 21 that is 0 you can cancel this out all right and that would be our answer class 2x squared plus 2x minus 3 easy right all right so that's how you divide polynomials class without the remainder so the next part of our video, the part 3, is we will have a remainder. So feel free to see the link in the description down below with regards to part 3 and also for the part 1 class. You need to see the part 1 class for you to really understand how to divide polynomials. Once again, if you learned something new today, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. Just keep fighting class. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.